still out here, huh? I have a responsibility to my PTV viewers, Brian. And nothing says must-see TV like a five-day, non-stop Mr. Belvedere marathon. Gotta say, I never really cared for that show. Put out kind of a weird vibe. Shh, shh, shh. I think this is the one where Mr. Belvedere sits on his own nuts. And there's the weird vibe. This is a day to remember, Rupert. My mind control device is complete. As soon as I broadcast my commands over the fat man's satellite dish, I shall be the most powerful dictator since Dick Cheney. Uh, why the devil are you dressed like that? No, no, I, I, I'm, I'm not criticizing. I just, I just don't understand your need to prance around like a scoutmaster on Labor Day weekend. What the hell is going on out there? Bertram, did your mothers stop cleaning their carpets long enough to let you out of the house? That was a jab at their sexuality. I'm here for one thing, and one thing only, Stuart. Your satellite dish. Oh, marvelous. I see you stopped touching yourself long enough to learn how to play this thing. Well, let's get on with it. Too high for you? Try hitting the jump button again when you're at the top of the first jump, genius. My boyfriend, Prince William, got me this beautiful watch. Do you hear yourself talk? I might kill you to- I must find enough power-ups to charge my ray gun. And then, Bertram, as First Lady of the American stage Helen Hayes once said, I'm going to kill you! My ray gun just needs one more part. Let's check outside. Just try not to step in Brian's butt chocolate. This is Peter Griffin with PTV, giving you the Mr. Belvedere... I'll need to get that door unlocked. Perhaps I shall use this mind control ray to force Lewis to do it. Uh, honey, I'm doing the... Ah, the toast is ready. Damn! It appears the microwave is disrupting my mind control. I shall need to use an indirect method. Perhaps something involving the dog? Oh, no. <sighs> well, my, my. Mr. Hoover's come to visit. <laughs> Lois, this is not funny. I, 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 I really don't... <laughs> it's not cool. Well, it's too hot to cook anyway. I must find a way to reach the roof in order to confront Bertram. And then perhaps work on a sweet tan. I knew you're new at this, but how about targeting our enemies with the lock-on feature? It's there for a reason. If you hold it down, you can achieve a greater release. Got it? Curse that helicopter! Go all black hawk down on it. I shall destroy the remote and its owner. Ah! Oh god, my lawn! That's not what I meant by a bush cut! Damn it! My taco's ready, so is what I got. Excellent! One of my sky hooks. Good thing my bribes at City Hall paid off. Hey, don't forget to put in these hooks. Why? Because some infant gave me a hundred bucks. Ah, it's one of those cutaways like you see on television. However, this is a video game, so they are interactive. Succeed, and I'll get more power-ups for my ray gun. Ow! Oof! Oof! That's quite a gap. Time to use my glide apparatus. How dare you defy me! Not so fast, Bertram. I'd rather the dish be destroyed than have it fall into your hands. 
Hey, keep it down up there. If that's Meg or some kind of squirrel, I'm gonna get my shotgun. Fool! I tricked you into destroying your own satellite dish. Now I can proceed unimpeded with my own plan for world domination. Where does he get those wonderful toys? Goodbye, Stuart! Okay, some kind of squirrel or Meg, stop interrupting my program! Peter! Oh my god! Brian, call an ambulance! I'll go get my purse! Ugh, this looks like an Iraqi trailer park. Bertram's obviously been planning this attack for some time. But what's his master plan? I must find out. Therefore, I have no choice but to shrink myself down and infiltrate his lair within the fat man's testicles. Gross. You know, I have to come out to this hospital so often. They should name it after me. Ooh, death is here. I better get to the fat man before he does. Hey, keep out of there. We have a cold brown, baby with a ray gun. Help! All right, you medical faggot. This is the big one. Time to earn our pay. This is the final all. But the sooner I sneak myself down to the fat man, the sooner I can thwart Bertram's plans. Move! Move! As long as the nurse calls... Oh! My duodenum! If I destroy that red junction box, these laser walls will disappear. So there's that. Ah, right in the scapula! Oh! My duodenum! Blood vessel. I'm melting. You shot me. Security, there is a man in a red and yellow floral shirt stuck in the nurse's shower. Security to the nurse's shower. Ow, my pinky. Ah, right in the scapula. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man! Look at him squirm! Ah! This hurts! Aren't you guys dead yet? I got a schedule to keep. No, oh, I want to go for a walk! Hmm, water and electricity. A wonderful combination when thinking about Lewis, but even now it may impede my progress. While normally I would be overjoyed at causing this much destruction, I have more pressing matters. I need a condenser from an electron microscope and a coil from an MRI machine. And then, you know, whenever it's convenient, I'm kind of in the mood for a payday bar. You shot me! Blood! 
blast it all! In this model, the aperture is all the way at the top. Cursed Koreans and their slipshod ergonomics. You're a good pimple, Doug. Security? Now this is what I'm talking about. Me on the big screen. Oh yeah, baby, I'm looking good. Out that shrew. So I should find a way to use the preggers. Nothing interesting has come out of there in six years. I have a craving for explosives, and my boyfriend works at the armory, so... Now if I charge long enough, I can lob grenades. As the fat man would say, freaking sweet. The grid is more complex. I must direct my raygun blasts more accurately. Excited. This is not a drill. <laughs> Ow, my pinky.
MRI machine. Hmm, it's in use. I shall have to find the power switch. A stray blast could destroy the equipment. I must use mind control. Ah, what the deuce? It's that pervert from next door. What is he doing here? Are you the head nurse? Oh, God, I'd rather die. Hey, nurse, can you examine this lump? Ugh, pervert cooties. Ugh. Hey, want to play doctor? Stay away from me. Oh, why is no one helping? Dear God, make it stop, make it stop. Wait a sec. Nope, just constant pain. Ah! Hidden pornographic scene viewable by pressing up, up, down, down, left. Huh. Horny gamers believe anything. Seabreeze? Hey! Well, you smell... <laughs> inseminated. I can't believe you're pregnant again. God, didn't you learn anything the last time? Would you like some water? A treat? Towel to bleed on? I knew it! Arrest this dog! He violated my restraining order and impregnated Seabreeze! What? No, I didn't! He's lying! And he's not Caucasian! Oh! I'm not the father, Joe! Unless you can prove that, Brian, we gotta lock you up. Damn it, a speed bump. Who's the wise guy that put this speed bump here? It's not funny! Horowitz, I'm looking at you! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Laugh it up, guys! This is in poor taste! Okay, rule one for fugitives. Don't let anyone see you. Shadows, like martinis, are your friends. Let's see, right at the steam pipe, left past the Indian burial chamber. Wow, now that's cruel and unusual punishment. This is way better than my cube at work. It has a bed. That's the second most disturbing thing I've ever seen. Hi, I'm Brian, and this is the first of my interactive non-sequiturs. Play this successfully, and I'll turn invisible for a short period of time. Thanks for listening. God, I wish I knew what lies ahead. Why do we do these things to each other? You run faster than my stepdad. We're having fun, jail fun. Stop running, you!
Do you want the Prell or don't you? Ha <laughs> After this, let's go grab a snack. So the socioeconomic structure of the streets is what is responsible for our situation. No, no, it's all a matter of our genetic makeup, nature over nurture. If I'm gonna find out who the real father of Seabreeze's puppies is, I need some clues. Yikes, that's why the prisoner canteen shouldn't have a craft section. This is part of the police file on Seabreeze. Jackpot. Dames, can't trust them. That guy couldn't find his ass with a magnifying glass and a map. Never ask a rabbit for direction. That guard might be a problem. Maybe I can find something to distract him. Just switch this one over to the women's shower. That ought to keep them busy. Don't worry. I can make it hot for you. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Oh, yeah, baby. I bet if I hid under this desk, they couldn't see me at all. What would Danny Glover do? Somebody stealing my water. They're crafty, I'll tell you. It happens when you least expect it. rules should I play by? Mm. Ah, heck, I'll just play by my own rules. What would Danny Glover do? Attention all officers, please remember to warm your hands before frisking perps. Thank you. Now my ray gun does more damage. Soon birds from your up and Hey son. Give me some help over here. The liposuction machines are leaking fat all over the place and I'm trapped in it. I need three machine parts to fix it. Get them for me and I'll be able to open the door for you. I can't stand on this blubber, but it makes for good sliding. Or do I? Oh! 
Oh, to be the Lindbergh baby right about now. I'm so glad to see the nurses have found something constructive to do with this mess. It's loud. Has Lois been cooking again? Ha! Ah, well, that's right. I went there. Shoddy workmanship. I find better form pieces in my diaper. Hey, son. Hurry it up in there. The fat has reached the nipple line. Forecast for tomorrow, a few sprinkles of genius with a chance of doom! Saving my vengeance for Bertram. More antiquated material. Modern medicine indeed. Part three of the machine. Hooray! Thanks a lot, little guy. The door should be open now. Ow, my pinky! Ah, right in the scapula! Hey, Brad, how long before you think you end up in here? Oh, a long time, unless I run into a baby with a ray gun. 
But what are the odds of that? I wish I'd studied Shakespeare now, so I'd have something to quote before dying! Dead? I'll tell you what's dead. Vaudeville. And this is the box they buried it in. Take me, for instance. Ow! Vamp! Vamp! Dr. Smith to the ICU. Dr. Smith. Never mind. Come on in, son. There's plenty of room. Mm. Away, Stewie. I'm hanging out with my boyfriend. You will see me again, Stewie Griffin. Because I got a few to pick up in the ICU. the way out the dead block undead baby punch him in the head You apes! Dress those lines! Maintain your intervals! Fight my anus. Dead. This is not a drill! Long enough, I can lob grenades. As the fat man would say, freaking sweet. Well, what have you? At last, the fat man! Now to find a way to dispatch those nurses. No mind to control? Um, you doing okay? Wanna soda? Damn! I hate these last minute additions. That's it! I'll turn off the support machines and summon death! He can do the you dirty work! No mind work. to control, but, um, you doing good? No mind to control? Um, you doing okay? Wanna soda? Another one? Man, this hospital sucks. <laughs> Can I go to the John in peace? Damn, I was gonna ask her out later. 
How ironic. Angel of Mercy meets Angel of Death. Hmm. I don't remember her being on the list. Oh well. I don't want any trouble with the Union. Uh, I thought the plan was to shrink yourself down to go into him. That's gonna be difficult if he's dead. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with this thing? Come on, die already! <sighs> Can I go to the John? Well, splendid! This calls for a sexy party! <laughs> Damn! Thanks to this pill, I shall have no trouble breathing inside the fat man's body. All right, let's get small. Lois? Lois? Oh, what the hell happened? All I remember is Mr. Belvedere was there and... And I remember something whacking me in the head. Belvedere! That's it! Mr. Belvedere has kidnapped my family and for some reason wants me dead. Well, I'll have to destroy you first, you evil crafty nanny or... or, or butler or or, or... or whatever kind of freaky thing you had going on there. <laughs> nice try, Belvedere! Thinks he can just take me out with one of his brainwashed henchmen disguised as a nurse? Well, it's gonna take a lot more than that to keep me from getting back Lois and Brian and Chris and Stewie and... and, uh... Oh, damn. Uh... I wanna say... I wanna say Russ? I'm the youngest child to the oldest nagging grandma. None shall escape my fists of fury. Damn you, Belvedere! You've corrupted both the young and the old! Stupid trash can! Look at it over there! Be a smug! I'm doing to you what life did to Dana Plato. <laughs> Holy Christ! <laughs> oh crap! Hey, do you guys know Joe? Kind of a triple guy. Hey, you! Just cough up the snacks and no one gets hurt. Mike. Ah, you bastard! Oh. Hey, stop it! Ah, you bastard! Don't move, dirtbag. That is freaking sweet! Call 911! Ah, cops! The poor man's robo-cops!
I feel tougher than Steve Austin's left leg. Bring it on! Hey, stop it! Hey, stop it! Hey, you! Oh, call for backup! You know what else you can't see? The writing on the wall. Vaudeville's dead, and TV's the bottom. trying to muscle in on my action. Oh, crap! Ah, you bastard! Ah, you bastard! Oh, crap! Hey, stop it! Ah, you bastard! This reminds me of that time I tried to open that can of tuna. If I can just win this cutaway, the game designers promised me extra hot dogs for my snack meter. Freaking sweet! Help! I'm evidence and I'm melting! I'm mel- Alright, here's another one. Good to see my tax money hard at work. I can't even think of what crime could be a so- This is part of the police file on Seabreeze. Jackpot. Hey. This is why I don't vote. Vote, you cur! Vote! Oh, nice one, Mr. President. No! Another clue! Nice. Hey, is that a lampshade? That could fool these stupid cops. Later, babe. I'm on duty right now. Hmm, time for the old lampshade disguise. Hey, there's Seabreeze! Click. Just remember, even morons know lamps don't move. God should just kill me! 
I must remember, I can go under desks. <laughs> Looks like someone needs to clean out the aquarium. This is a costume. This is a costume. It was my lunch break and chicken sounded good. Hey, who put that lamp here? Click. Click. You know, only wimps call for backup. Hey, who put that lamp here? Click. Click. Hey, who put that lamp here? Hey, who put that lamp here? Click. Attention all officers. Please remember to warm your hands before frisking perps. Thank you. Click. I wish we could hear more music and less talk on the police channel. Click. Listen, girl, I gotta figure out who the real father is. So, uh, present. Wait, I do smell something familiar. Where have I smelled that before? Excuse me, sir, Channel 5's Eye on the Street. Today we're asking, who's a good boy? Uh, I am. Who's a good boy? I am. I'm a good boy. Tom Tucker. Maybe he's the father. I've got to get to Channel 5 and find some proof. Good luck with the puppies. Try not to eat them. Nightcap, anyone? All right, here's another one. Hmm, reminds me of my coke habit. Life is a stage, and there is my costume. What the? Hey, look! It's a witch! Burn her! Ah! Me! 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 I'm on fire! Put me out! Ah! I look like one of the kings of comedy. That's odd. All right, Brian. I know you're a good dog. Just come out, and I won't have to taser you. Be cool, man. Control yourself. Not everything is a toilet. Whoa, I gotta be more careful. Oh god, get me out of here before I explode! Do this all day, Brian! Give yourself up! Oh, pardon me, sir. Have you seen a dog around here? White, large muzzle, walks upright. A stomach! I must be careful to avoid touching the lake of acid. Sort of like when I pretend the driveway is hot lava. What the deuce? It seems my arrival has dislodged a few things stuck up above. Is this red carpet? He's been eating red carpet! Has the fat one been eating pine cones again?
Finally, a way out of this meat trap. Must avoid these annoying pustules. Got to find a way to open that sphincter. Perhaps there's some kind of control organ. This isn't the first time I've been thwarted by my small stature. Enslave the human Over race here. doesn't cost you a dime. I'm the fat chick. Nope. Go. Okay. I'll have to grapple my way through the fat man's lungs. It smells like bacon in here. How did he get bacon in here? Nice! That platform now works as an elevator should I fall back to the floor.
feel like a video game is going on in my chest. like a split ahead. I will have to decide which way to go. There's treachery afoot. Splendid. Giant inflated cysts and clinched sphincters. Lois, what is she doing in here? Perhaps she represents people's thoughts. Listen to you. Well, I just plain don't like you. Oh, hey, that's me. People are trying to watch. You lied to me. You betrayed my trust. Lois is multiply? No damage to bus viewing blood gun in hell! Don't fight with me, I'm trying to sleep. I'm getting in my target practice. You've been sitting in front of that TV since you got home. That man's brain cell seems to be thinking about food. If I move these thoughts to the erogenous zone, perhaps the blood flow will shift to the testicles. But which one to use first? If y'all get hungry, there's some cottage cheese in the fridge. I don't always come home with that reunity on ice. That's nice mentality. I think I'm falling in love with you. I'm gonna get me a spoonful. Were you really having carnal relations with another gentleman? Now you get... Wouldst thou take a gander underneath my frock? This is a shakedown! If y'all get hungry, there's some cottage cheese in the fridge. I'm gonna get... Done! Now let's follow the flow to the testicles.
like the candy tree got another one. Oh crap! Kids coming from. I'm gonna get you. Good night, losers. About time I did my fatherly duty. these days. Wow, it's like a parade. A parade of Belvedere's foe. Ah, you bastard! Oh! 
What now, Meg? I'm trying to rescue you from Mr. Belvedere. <laughs> Oh my god, look who's here! Ah, you bastard! Oh crap! Oh crap! was weirder than that television special on fire trucks. A solitary killer, the fire truck stalks its prey. What the hell? What the hell? What the? Looks like a truckload of fire hydrants overturned right by the gate. That could buy me some time. I'm gonna need a disguise to slip past that security guard. I'll bet I can find something useful in that cheerleading van. Sometimes I stab myself with my badge pin just to know I'm alive. What? I said we sure got a mess here. Oh. Okay. Sprinkler controls. Well, I think we've learned cops love things a little hot and wet. Oops, I guess I should have worn a bra today. Whee! <laughs> Last one in has crossing guard duty. So much for the wet t-shirt scene everyone was hoping for. I have to go so bad my teeth are floating. Pardon me, I'm here for the auditions. Tee -hee. Come on in and cheer stuff! Um, yes, here we go. Give me an F! Give me a U! Give me a C! Oh, wait, 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 we're going for a teen rating here. Gracious, what won't they use sex to sell? Go on in, sugar. Damn it, looks like they just finished. I'll bet Tom Tucker is already on his way back to his dressing room. I've got to get to that door without anyone seeing me. A videotape! Maybe one of these has evidence I can use. Poor Diane. I wonder if she knows no one's watching. I've got to keep her eyes on the camera so I can get past. That's it. Follow the little red light. In other news, Mayor Adam West reports that water theft is down by 13% this month. A disguise would certainly help. I guess it's that time. Man, I'm gonna kill whoever ate the last chocolate long john. Everybody knows I have eternal dibs on those. No dog here, just giant banana guy. Oh, 
Right, here's another tape. Hello, giant banana guy. No dog here, just giant banana guy. Huh. It's the set of the popular dance show, Channel 5's most popular... dance... show. Looks like I'll have to start the party or get them out of my way. Now to just slip past these dancers and out the door. Especially those sexy female dancers with their firm legs and aggressively low self-esteem. Oh, steady, Brian, steady. Another for the collection. Well, there are more tapes around here than pimples on Meg's ass. Ah, there you are! You were supposed to be here an hour ago. I'm assuming you read the script, so we're just gonna do this, okay? Places, people! And action! <laughs> You're a dog. You're too late to save little Woodrow from my evil clutches. <laughs> Help me, heroic dog! Wow, they think I'm this hero dog character. Better play along so they don't call security. Some of these blades I can duck under. This... this is not good. It's the worst job I've ever had. Well, except for one. Uh, excuse me. Would you like to try my smoked meat log? Aha! I finally chased you down, Mr. Belvedere Head! Head feeling funny. Black folks leaving in their car. Haven't slept in five days. Woozy. Oh yeah, that's right. It's Rufus Griffin, the soul brother who keeps things smooth and real and smooth. Go, Rufus! Better run, Belvedere! Rufus Griffin gonna beat you with his fucking... Ah, you bastard! Hey, stop it! Ow! Go right to... Stop right there, pal. Ah, you bastard! My spleen. Ah, you bastard! How will I make this down? Ah, you bastard! I'm sending you to that deluxe apartment in the sky, baby. Ow! Bad touch! Oh, hey, the games are supposed to hurt. Drop that kid's balls and come out with your hands up. How will I live this down? Hey! Ow! Bad touch! Ow! Hey, stop it! Ow! Ah! I want my mommy! 
Hey, I'm just talking about Rufus. It's a monster! Oh, it's time to rock the house. Have a fist of dynamite! Time for a little black snack pouch. Huh? Ah! Time for me to TCB. Hey, stop it! Damn it! Shut my flame! Better run, Belvedere! Rufus Griffin gonna beat you with his funkiness! Ow! Bad touch! <laughs> Stop wasting food! It's all for just two days until retirement! Time to turn this jab into fuck! Cut that out! Can you dig it? Ah! Make way for the screen! Ah! You games aren't supposed to hurt! I want my mommy! This is even more intense than that time I forgot how to sit my ass down! Nice try, Belvedere, but I don't follow the man's rules. Show your face, Belvedere! Cause I'm gonna mess you up worse than breast augmentation surgery messed up that one formerly hot chick who was in that movie where that Jewish kid stuck his thing in a pie. Man, this is one whacked out pair. Oh, me little Ed! 
Hey, I've been... He's got nothing on a black ribbon. Hmm. <laughs> Thank the Lord. Go, oh God. It's your birthday. Go oh God, it's your birthday. My ticket's punched! There he is! That's frozen dust! Sorry, you need 14 tickets to live! Five hundred tickets to the one who brings me his head. That's smart! What the hell is going on? <laughs> hell is right. Oh, hell no! <laughs> hey, stop it! <laughs> Bring it on! Bring it on! Bring it on! Oh, it's Tam. 
Time to rock the house! My stomach again! I'm beginning to feel like a toboggan! I just need to work my way down the lung, through the bladder. Oh dear God. Uh, would you mind calling me Sean? Sean? Yeah, I just... I... My information said nothing about a scouting outpost in the lung. beginning to miss the old cyst and sphincter routine. I just need to find the cyst to get this sphincter open. Excellent! My ray gun bolts now penetrate multiple enemies.
Oh, how I will look back on my adventures here. I slid through some veins, jumped on some cysts, and squeezed through some sphincters. Good times. Good times. Chili stones, urinal cakes, floating tiles. At least I don't have to touch the yellow water. What a waste! Fortunately, these kidney stones make decent platforms. That trooper alerts his breath and I'll see more sperm than a lead actress in a Kentucky video. Must eliminate that sperm trooper before he leaves this fleshy expressway. Unless 
I hit each and every speed boost, I have no chance of success. that trash in here. This is my house. That was more pathetic than that game of Marco Polo I played with Helen Keller. Marco! 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 Ah, the testicles at last. And look, a reception committee. Well, it is again a bad day to be a sperm. Sperm warriors must be quite stressed. You're acting very testy. <laughs> oh, I'll enjoy that drink some more.
I see security has been beefed up since my last infiltration into the testicular region. Very well, I like a good spurny challenge. has returned! He's back! What a waste! He has returned! He got me! I've been sterilized! Chair? How the hell can he afford an Eames chair? Chapter 1. Killing Stuff. Oh my, this chair is orgasmic. Well, I hope these diapers absorb semen. Oh man, Jolly Farm Review? When will American television stop ripping off the Brits? First men behaving badly, and now this? There's nothing better than a full bush. Oh, I miss the 70s. And action! Great! Another of those tapes! Cut! God, 
you are such low wankers. And action. Come, little ones. Tom Tucker is one perverted SOB. Who leaves these things out? And action. Almost there. If I can just cross through here and sneak into the dressing rooms. to do something topical, like about the war or, or stuff. Something where I could show some side boob? I really think you've got the perfect face for TV, stage, the big screen, and I only take a 60% commission. Those two are blocking the door. I have to find a way to move them. Hmm, time for an old-fashioned crank call. Would the petite blonde actress wannabe please call the clinic? Uh, apparently you got an infection from a late actor that we cannot reference for legal reasons. Hey, I've got to talk to a guy about not getting herpes. I'll call you. Tom Tucker's dressing room is at the end of this hallway, but there's too many guards. Maybe I can slip through these side doors. Uh, I asked for a bowl of green chocolate candies. Yes, they're here, but I asked for forest green, not seafoam green. Yes, I know I can change them to forest green just by touching them, but that's not the point. When Jesus asks for forest green, he means forest green. Capiche? Yar, yar. Does that, does that sound right? Yar, maybe with an accent. Yar, there. Is that intern back with me, Rum, yet? I'm starting to get the shakes. How can you say that to me? After all we've been through! <laughs> Look, you made promises. Promises with your body. Promises with your horn. <laughs> you said you were gonna make me Mrs. Hunky McLongbottom. <laughs> no, I don't want a handkerchief. <laughs> It's gonna be tied to a bunch of other handkerchiefs, and I'm gonna pull and pull, and they'll just keep coming and coming, and it'll be all different colors, and... Well, I guess maybe that is kind of funny, now that I think about it. This place is not large enough to hold my various awards for excellence in Asian news reporting. Yeah, this is more pathetic than that time I taught Peter about Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Too many cigarettes. Yeah! It's all just part of the job, ma'am. So, Officer Swanson, tell me, have you ever had to hogtie someone with those rippling arms of yours? You know, you're, uh... Smells like Vitalis and self-hatred. But it's the wrong scent. That must mean Tom Tucker's not the father. So who is?
The dog track. Seabreeze races there. It's a long shot, but maybe I could find something there to clear my name. Tom, I'm standing here wondering who left a steaming three-coiler on my desk. I see. Perhaps I'll respond in kind. Watch yourself, Belvedere. I'm coming for you. Goodbye, world. You won't have Gladys Anderson to sodomize with a shoe anymore. <sighs> oh my god. This is a sign. God wants me to continue selling sexual favors for money. I hear you, Lord. Hey, you looking for a patty? If you're looking for junk in the trunk, I'm a freaking SUV. Excuse me, fat hooker coming. Hey, stop it! Hey, stop it! <laughs> Typical white man. Ah, you bastard! Hey, stop it! Huh? Oh, crap! My teeth! Ah, you bastard! You bastard! I don't kiss on the mouth. I can't risk falling in love. Oh crap! Typical white man. Typical white man. Hey, stop it! Always after the red man. After the red man. My milkshake is better than your. Huh? Oh, those New York whores got nothing on this snack move. Hey, stop it! Don't bother me. I'm horrid. Ah, you bastard! Always after the red man. Typical white man. Get your sex here. Now with free bonus sex. the red man.
you in heap big trouble. So, you want a party or what? Come on over, boy. My sluts are the loosest in town. Hey, stop it! Get him! This is all up. This reminds me of a time I went to the disco. Watch how I whack my pinata. There we go. Ow! Crappy pinatas and your glass candy. If you give me money, I will then make sense. Hey, stop it! Go down! I said go down! I tip my hat to you, sir. You've won this round. You bastard! Hey, stop it! Ah, you bastard! Hey, stop it! A rough and oh crap! Uh. Ah, you bastard! Uh. Oh crap! According to Bertram's book, his lair should be nearby. What the deuce? Aha! Bertram's secret lair. I must get past those guards. Damn! A metal detector! I will need a distraction. Time to use my mind control device. <laughs> No mind to control? Um, you doing okay? Wanna soda? There's treachery afoot! Lower the magnet! You should select me for your club due to my encyclopedic knowledge of Star Trek trivia. Yeah, maybe if you weren't such a loser. What are you? Stop staring at me! No mutants! Oh, that's it, man. Game over. I'm just gonna kill you all. Oh, 
that was almost completely useless. Hmm. Apparently Bertram couldn't afford a floor in here. But oh my, look at the pretty floating disc! Armor on those turrets is too thick. I will need to destroy them from the inside. Takanawa with Channel 5 News. A fierce battle has broken out here in another of Kohog's secret underground lairs. Cloning pot! So that's how he's getting his minions. Kind of a douche move if you ask me. Many clones. We need to destroy these cloning pods. Hmm. Are those giant buttons on top of the electricity generators?
I'll use a sled to get across this toxic sludge. Hmm. It appears I must slide through each of these slaloms to activate the security door. Excellent! Ricochet walls plus ray gun equals fun for Stewie! The armor on those turrets is too thick. I will need to destroy them from the inside. My small stature! Oh, if I were big, just think where I would be. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm?
must be the armory! What a fantastic opportunity to power up my ray gun! That's not epic! From now on, all finger painting will be done in red. Congratulations, you're responsible for my 100th reaping of the game. Here's your prize. Ah, you bastard! Hey, stop it! I don't even have benefits. I want this body. I do go for it.
Sorry about the j- Hey, stop it! Hey, stop it! So many iodine stained shrimp. Oh crap! Yo. Hey, stop it! I see you are fat, so I challenge you to a hot dog eating contest. If you can eat more than me, you win. I have to eat more hot dogs than skinny in order to win, eh? Please go down easy. They couldn't find bigger ones than this? I need more to be satisfied. Oh, blessed cow, how you feel me? Oh, those New York whores got nothing on this snack move. Hey, looks like this one's free. Somebody fart. Man, we must have blown our budget hiring all those characters. We couldn't afford another mini game, so uh how about pressing a button? Yeah, do that. Yay! Oh, 
stop it! Uh. Ah, you bastard! Oh crap! Hey, stop it! Hey, stop it! Oh crap! Ah, you bastard! See? Have at this brigand! Hey, buddy! You look at your turn, sir! I'm a bit winded! Up the witch! Madam, please control yourself! Take this, ruffian! Come on over! Have at this brigand! Hey, stop it! Hey, stop it! Your turn, sir! Hey, stop it! Up, switch! I was hoping those guys could have told me where Mr. Belvedere is hiding. Jeez, you can never find your way out of these casinos. Uh, hey there, uh, skimps on maintenance. Uh, do you know the way out of here? <laughs> There's that freaky head again. This is not over. To the dark! Looks like the police had the same thought I did. The place is crawling with them. Gonna have to be careful if I'm gonna get through the crowd here. The father has to be here somewhere. Maybe I can get the scent off of these dropped tickets. Have you seen this dog? Walks on his hind legs, drinks martinis, dry sense of humor. This just in, Tom Tucker has blown 5,000 at the track. Reaction from the bookies later tonight. Ew, there's snot on this one. I'm free of STDs, but not the gambling bug.
Nope, not this one. Maybe the father of Seabreeze's puppies is in the luxury boxes. Hey, there's Carter, that son of a... Damn it, wish I had a punch button. Nope, not this one. rather be beating my nanny. Seabreeze is going to win the cup today, pregnant or not. Seabreeze is going to win the cup today, pregnant It's really not that hot. It's certainly no worse than Florida. And our elections are more honest. Can these people sleep at night? Blowing all their money while there's people like me who have to drink sh Nope, not this one. Get a move on, number four! Move your bloomin' ass! What are we protecting the Maya from again? Avocados. Don't ask. That rabbit is a real go-getter. He's won every race so far. Mm, I think I've found my new public works director. That's the kind of guy that could lock his keys out of the car. I'm smarter than you, Keys! I love dog races, but not as much as I love Taffy. And I am a man who loves his Taffy. Didn't I just leave this guy? Logical weapons, but we agreed no term warfare. It would 
probably do me well to destroy these barrels of disease. Down so much, I feel like a dockside hooker. How about a Gilligan Griffin runs from nothing! I think it would be a good idea to avoid the boiling liquid, don't you? Like I will have to jump the old-fashioned way. Bertram thinks he can hide from me at the top of this rocket. Ha! Ah, that's so funny I forgot to laugh. Excluding that first. Ha! Ah.
think a missile volley would be useful here. A slow clap? Really? That's more cliché than that time I did that late-night talk show monologue. Why is nothing happening? Your cutaways won't work here, Stuart. They're much more expensive in a video game and take up far too much disk space. Hmm, that's a shame. I had a pretty good bit on erectile dysfunction. Did you hear about the guy who got a Viagra stuck in his throat? He woke up with a stiff neck? <laughs> oh, my father's joke. Enough of this banter! Let's war! Careful where you aim that thing. I wouldn't want you to miss and kill your best friend. Rupert, you... Uh, see, this is what happens when you go gallivanting around in someone else's hat. Once this satellite is launched, no one will be safe from my mind control, and Rupert will spend eternity circling the Earth alone. Not if I have anything to say about it! To Bertram, you run like a Welshman! A Welshman! Fabulous, those glass doors only leave a small hole for fireproof! That shield should shatter any minute now! Know who that is? You know what I'm doing? That's you. That's what you sound like. This isn't over, Stuart. It's time we duke it out. Mano a mano. Let's say the playground in ten minutes. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Well, I could reschedule that. Um, let's say thirty minutes, but know that it could really be more like forty-five. Excellent. I'll see you there. Here I come, Belvedere. Come out, come out, wherever you are. What the hell? I am an automaton nuclear neo-human android. You may call me Anna. I am a robot ninja from the planet England, sent here to seek and destroy Mr. Belvedere and all who stand in my way. And I can do both regular chicks and robot chicks. Yeah. Awesome. Can I know to jump up number around my note and the blood dick? Halt, sandwich! Resistance is futile! <laughs> ah, you bastard! <laughs> hey, stop it! Hey, stop it!
overpower me with your- Oh, crap! You there! Stop! Oh, crap! You- Ah, you bastard! No! You there! Stop! And I smash dark workers! Fat ass! Twelve o'clock! <laughs> and I rules! Cause I kick all the bad guys in their jewels! <laughs> Anna will not be stopped by seamen! <laughs> oh crap! Ah, you bastard! Ordinary sailors are no match for a cyborg ninja from the year 2015 AD! Blow him out of the water! Hey, stop it! Why? Ah, you bastard! Adam, man! And his prediction? Pain! Repel borders! Come one, come all. Have your picture taken with a seat. I am not a sea cow! Ah! Time to pop on the fat ass! Our delivery's made in the rear. You there! Stop! <laughs> ah, you bastard! The lucky ones shall die first. What the? Ninja Shield. Anna's most lovable enemy. Anna kind of has to take a whiz. You bastard! Oh crap! Oh crap! Ah, you bastard! Hey, this unit just got a crazy idea. Ah, why? 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 I'm gonna need a disguise so I can get up in the bleachers to search for that ticket. Perfect. 
Now I just have to get that guy out from the counter. Will you choke me with your stick? Did you just ask me to choke you with my stick? Like Stewie always says, when in doubt, set something on fire. Hey, you think we should do something about that, Jerry? Meh, we're not firemen. Now I can infiltrate the stands without being seen. <sighs> this will not end well. That vendor needs a shave. Ew, there's snot on this one. No beer for me. I'm on duty. Nope, not this one. That vendor needs a shave. All right, now I can get down to some serious sleuthing. Yoo-hoo! Ah, oh, crap. I better fill these people's orders, otherwise my cover will be blown. I l If I talk to someone who didn't order, I'll get caught. So I better remember who ordered. Who do I have to sleep with to get served around here? I'm hungry and my nose is empty. Thanks. I've got the munchies. Yo, food selling guy. I require some cotton candy and a large fruit punch. Hey, buddy. Nachos? I got nachos! I wish Cleveland would just leave me the hell alone. Thanks for the grub, bub. Hey, show me the food! Hey, over here! I need another hot dog, because I ate the other one already. Hey, vendor! Show me your nuts! you long enough. Yay, peanuts! See, I'm fat, so I like- I love five-year-old hot dogs. Hey, I want to stuff my face! I want to be serviced. How about some service? Yeah, that hot dog didn't stand a chance. Give me another! Hey, over here. I just love artificial food products. Thanks. Now paint my house. Ooh, yummy. Man, I didn't realize how much food Chris can put away. Now that these morons are sated, I can get to work looking for that stuff. <laughs> this is the scent. The culprit is here. But how do I draw him out? I've got it. If I disguise myself as Seabreeze and win the race, maybe he'll come to me. But how am I going to manage to beat those other dogs? What a good-looking question. And I think I might have a sexually compatible answer. Pills? Look, I don't want to host a right-wing radio talk show. <laughs> and mega dittos to you, sir. Just slip these pills into the dog's food, and you can have sex with them while they're unconscious. Actually, I just want to win the race. Well, whatever you're into. Here we go. Now I just need to slip a little of this into each dog's dish and I'll win by a long shot. Gotta be careful not to get spotted though by the dogs or those kennel workers.
I wish my name was Chet. People would be like, hey Chet, and I'd be like, hey. These kennels are much nicer than the ones in Bangkok. God, now that was a weekend. I'm standing here. That guy's gonna be a problem. I need to do something to get him out of the way. Is that the race trophy? I think I thought of a way to get his attention. All these dogs do is bark and crap. I hate my job. Ah, crap! And they're off! Out in front, it's Seinfeld, followed closely by the British office, followed by anything with John Stewart in it except Death to Smoochie. Back in the pack, it's Becker, but now Becker's stumbling badly. Becker is fading. Becker's being passed by reruns of Night Court and that infomercial with the Chinese guy selling real estate. Trailing them all, it's Test Pattern, and just behind Test Pattern, it's... That's not Seabreeze! That's Brian! Arrest that dog! I'm not the father of Seabreeze's puppies, Joe. I'm innocent. Sentimental hogwash. But the real father is right here with us. And he is none other than... Glenn Quagmire. What? Still less hair than a Greek chick. Quagmire, huh? Wow, I kind of thought it was going to be that billionaire. You know, the guy that used to own that cable news station and... Was married to that 80s workout queen. She hasn't really worked in a while. Kind of long in the tooth. Well, she did have that one movie with that actress with the fat ass. Are you trying to get us sued? Bring it on! Oh, crap! Ah, you bastard! is substantial. It shall be destroyed.
You cannot confuse my program with your all beach sex orgy. Check it out! There's the dude! Who initiates beach parties anymore? Anna is just saying. Your jiggly bikini clad asses will not distract me from my mission. This was like a brand new bikini. Stop with the negativity. Hey, stop harshing my mellow, brah. Bad trip, man. I smell testosterone. This is certainly a target-rich environment. Rich? I'll tell you what's rich. The amusing folksy monologues of young Will Rogers. But me, I like the visual slapstick gag. Like this comically oversized powder puff. Makeup! <laughs> now that's rich. Let me off, Johnny. Since you be tearing this town limb from limb, and since no one seems man enough to make you walk the plank, we've flown in one of your largest nemesis er, ne nemesi. Hmm. If I be remembering my Latin rightly, I, I do believe the proper word would be nemesis. Yeah, that'd be right. Fine with me, bring it on! What's the matter? Nothing to say for yourself? You were too busy hanging out on your island to record one line for some video game? Okay, I got my shot. Let's do this! Ah, so my enemies have employed their own cyborg against me. This unit is impressed. Have at you, fellow cyborg! We must Kung Fu fight! Ah, the path to knighthood is paved with your sorry ass. The path to being a cyborg ninja is having a satellite fall on your head. Beep! You are just jealous because I am from the future. You suck! Your mother was a can of tuna! says, thank you, Jesus. Go, Jesus. It's Christmas. Go, Jesus. It's Christmas. Oh, Peter, there you are. Why 
Alice, you escaped from Mr. Belvedere. Peter, there is no Mr. Belvedere. He's just a TV character that we can use because Fox owns the rights to him. But aside from that, the actor who played him has been dead for years. You destroyed half of Quahog looking for something that doesn't exist. Oh my god! I'm a monster! All the people whose asses I kicked! I know you must feel bad, Peter. But maybe if you try to make amends with those people... You make a lot of sense, Lois. And not to get all touchy-feely on you, but what I hear you saying is that this is the kind of regret that is only cured by serious, hardcore drinking. I love you, problem-solving wife. This is your last chance, Stuart. Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy as brother and brother. Interesting offer. Do you have a dental plan? I... I, I haven't really thought about it. You expect me to work without benefits? I do speak English, you know. No, I think the best thing is for me to kill you. First clones are now holograms. First of all, you get it. You're powerful. Get first before he loses himself amongst more holograms. Stay still! How do you expect to rule the world if you're nothing but a big baby? Yeah? Well, I got your big baby right here! Oh, hey man, what the hell? We may be brothers, but that doesn't mean I'm comfortable seeing your bone pony. Who's the big baby now, bitch? Learned how to reverse your miniaturization effect. Now I'm bigger than you'll ever be! I heard you felt that. Thanks to the hotspot I gave birth of, I have a window of opportunity. ground if I hope to do him any damage. Trunk is packing. Because he has a small package. Gave Bertram, I have a window of opportunity.
I hope to do him any damage. his package because he has a small package I gave Bertram, I have a window of opportunity. <laughs> We've got to fight him over there by the sandbox. Of course! I must destroy the device on his ray gun to shrink him back to size. I need to find a way to get that gun at ground level. I hardly felt that. Ah! Wow, my chance to destroy that device on his gun. Your anguish sustains me. <laughs> Very well, Stuart. You've defeated me fair and square. I have no option but to do this. Mommy! What? Oh, that is such a vagina thing to do. Maybe so. But the fact is, I live to fight another day. Until next time, Stuart, I leave you with this. Blast! Yeah, that was time well spent. Oh, Rupert, what a day. I just want to get home, draw a hot bath, and spend some quality time with my thoughts. No, you can't watch. I'll leave the door cracked. Wow, Horace, I can't believe I destroyed the town and hurt all those people. And all to find a guy who doesn't even exist. What the hell was I thinking? Holy crap, I knew it! Wait, 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 wait. I already paid for this. Let's do this. But don't hit me in the stomach for a while. You know, because of the beer.
Die, you bastard! Bastard!
okay? Yeah, I'm fine, Lois. In fact, I learned something today. You can't always trust your feelings. Especially after watching five straight days of Mr. Belvedere with no sleep, and while constantly getting hit in the head by a very coincidentally large number of objects. Well, I learned that the dog track is horse racing for poor people. And I learned that I've got to stop overscheduling myself. I mean, look at this. Booked solid through next Thursday. You know, there's just one thing I don't get. I know I was out of my mind in every way, but I swear that Mr. Belvedere head floating up in the sky was real. Hey, there it is again. What the hell is that? Oh, you're a hoot, Mr. Belvedere. Okay, now here's my screech. <laughs> <laughs>